All right, so uh, if y'all been following, y'all been staying tuned in, which I appreciate y'all and I love all of you who have. But for those of you who are new subscribers, let's catch y'all up on a little bit. And I'm gonna bring everything full circle and kind of bring a lot of things that I've been talking about recently. Bring, let's sum it all together and put it all in one place and just kind of give y'all a full update of what's going down. So the Bayless family, <laughs> we've, we've been on a journey, right? And um, we've been on a journey for over a year and a half. Kimberly has been on it for closing in on two years and we're uh, well over a year and a half at this point. And it's, um, we've been traveling around the country, um, mostly the Pacific Northwest. Um, uh, we went through Denver, um, a lot of time in Oregon, spent some, went through Washington, Montana, and now we're, we spent a good amount of time in Wyoming. We're still trying to figure things out about what to do with um, our, you know, finding our new home. We're still trying to figure things out. We're super excited. We feel like opportunities were brought to us um, so that way God could use us and God could position things the way he wanted things to play out. And so we could, you know, help other people be blessed and we could be blessed. And it's it's been incredible along the way. Um, so uh, I uh, recently started posting a little bit more of these personal things on this page just to kind of add a little bit of a a little bit of a personal touch and kind of give some insight. And because after watching this incredible um, seminar with Alex Ramosi, I was seeing, uh, he, he mentioned the idea of what if we could go back and see, you know, like a blog or like, like you know, status of Jeff Bezos when he was building Amazon, right? And so that that's where I'm at. You know, that's where I'm at. It's like, we are building something huge here. We're building something huge for our family with the Being Bayless brand. We are building something huge with Bayless Enterprises and where we're taking it. Uh, right now, I was literally, um, I've, I've mentioned it only in little tidbits in the shorts and things like that, but I'm wanting to expand upon it here. Um, I did indeed start a book and um, I've been a writer for a long time. I published um, an online magazine some many years ago, I pu published, uh, I had a blog that I was pretty active on for a good amount of time, especially through the pandemic. It got really, it became a big focus of what I was doing and I was posting daily, which I was really excited about. But then I started doing YouTube videos and creating more content on different social media platforms. And that pretty much took a backseat to most of the other things I was doing. Um, Although I still enjoyed writing and I still wanted to get back to it, I was just putting my content out there faster and doing it this way. But like I said, um, so I've been, having been on the road, I've been re-inspired about being, you know, writing again. And when I was in Oregon, I started writing a book and I was really excited about it. And I was making a lot of progress. It was the first time I had gotten over halfway, you know, like I had hit over the halfway mark um, in progress where I was trying to get and what I was doing, right? And um, uh, I wrote, like I said, through throughout my time in Oregon and um, as I've been growing my business as well as we've been growing our investments and growing our trading and we've been paying down a lot of personal debt that we've had. This has been huge, huge experience for us, not just um, in the life lessons that we've learned and we've grown closer together as a family. We've seen so much of the country. We've been able to see, you know, all these amazing amazing thing we've seen waterfalls we've seen mountains seen rivers we've seen just we, we've seen mount rushmore devil's tower uh went to leavenworth um seen reindeer farm i mean it's been it's been absolutely amazing everything we've seen and done we're staying on a farm right now it's been cool so uh, amidst all of that all of that amazingness like i said we've been continuing to grow our business and me and my boy garrett back in um he's in texas uh he's in mckinney outside of dallas and uh, me and him are growing. We've been working on little plans for different businesses that we're trying to grow. We've been working on an app we're trying to develop as well. It's been, man, it's just been amazing the things that we've been able to do and the way I've been able to harness my focus since we've been on this journey. It's like God's given me insight. I've uh, dove more into the Word. Me and Kimberly are studying the Bible regularly together. I'm studying with the boys. Um, we found a church. We found a church in Oregon, then we found a church here. It's like God has blessed us with these opportunities. We've met amazing people who have ministered, and we've been able to minister to one another and share our 
passions, our desires to share scripture, share our testimonies. Um, it's been really, really just incredible. And like I said, uh, as far as the way we're growing Bayless Enterprises, I've been able to, like I said, branch out into these things with Garrett that we're working on. My partner Z, who's back in, uh, he's living in the, he's living in the domain in Austin and um, back in Texas. And um, me and him have grown um, into, he's, he's trained me more in the realm of being a swing trader, um, which I've actually learned more that I, my, my style is more of a momentum trader, which is cool, which is cool. Something I didn't know. And something I, um, like I, I mostly did a lot of investments before and hadn't really done trading. Trading's a whole different beast to tackle. So it's been cool to really dive into that. He's wanted to teach me for a few years and he's taught me little tidbits here and there. And I picked up a few things, but ultimately I was like, well, I, I'm an investor, you're a trader. We, we, we work together, but you know, we do different things. And I've learned along this journey that no, 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 no. Um, you need to be versatile. You need to be good at and skilled in these different areas. And uh, trading is more of an immediate, you know, payout. Whereas investing is for my future, right? So I'm definitely continuing to invest, but I'm learning to harness and hone my skills as a trader. So that way I can put bread on the table right now. And, um, you know, also that way I can continue to branch out in these other areas of my business that ultimately need money to do so, you know? Um, so continuing to generate different kinds of capital and different uh, revenue streams is, is something that I've been working on. Um, I've advanced my YouTube channels. Uh, I, I got a second channel while on the road. Uh, I initially had one, uh, it was my channel. And then amidst the journey on the road, me and the boy started documenting our trip across the country. Um, because mommy headed out on the road before we did. So as we were journeying to her, we documented. It was only, you know, a four-day trip. But, you know, during that four days, we, like, documented everything, everywhere we went, you know. And it just kind of, and then once we got to Oregon, we saw so many different things that it was just like, okay, maybe this is what we're going to do with our channel. And that channel became the boys' channel. It's the Bayless Boys' channel, and uh, that's my other channel. And so then uh, I got a YouTube manager. Uh, Russell, I gave a shout out to my man Russell before. He's incredible, but he um, helped me with that channel. Then he helped me with this channel. Then he set me up with a new manager recently, Yumi, and uh, she's doing an amazing job. And so she's managing both this channel and that channel and helping me continue to grow and market and advertise and all those different things that she's doing. Excellent job. Um, so with that, we're growing our channels, working on projects with Garrett, trading with my man Z, trying to grow my investments as I have little money here and there to that I'm like, okay, I can put that into investment. I can develop, you know, have that grow for our future. Um, me and Kimberly are trying to figure out where our destination is ultimately going to be and how we're going to get there and all those different things, which is interesting. Um, and we got a, you know, about five more months here as, um, they extended a contract through February. So we're here. Um, so we're just, you know, got five more months of figuring those things out, which that gives us some time, but it makes things interesting. It's really cool. I mean, God is good. The way he's just developing and growing things in our lives and for us and through us, it's it's been incredible. Um, so like I said, right now, I mean, we're living in a farm and oh, in, in a little farmhouse and um, we gave up our rental house back in Austin and we don't have the property that we own ourselves. We're literally living as minimalistic as possible. I say that very loosely because we were living incredibly minimalistic when we were living in hotels, but now we're not living in hotels, we're living in this farmhouse and we have grown and acquired more things um, as you tend to do when you've been, you know, just family. You know, my boys, they want things, I wanna get them things, we wanna do things for them. And Kimberly and I need things and, you know, things that'll help our respectable businesses grow and stuff. We need things to do those things that we want to do, you know, and in different weathers and stuff in different places we've been, we've had to get more clothes and things like weather we, gear and things like that. It's, we've acquired some things and we, you know, bought a, we upgraded to a new car. We bought a trailer. All these, the videos documenting all this different stuff is all on my other channel, The Bayless Boys. So if you want to check that out, feel free. Please do. Uh, it's really cool. It gives you some insight into what's going on in our lives and the fun that The Bayless Boys have been having. And um, yeah, so through all of this, 
We're, we're living minimalistic. We don't know where our home is gonna be. That sounds scary to some, but it's also exciting. And, and at moments, it can be unnerving. There's moments where we sit back and we're like, what are we doing? What, what are we doing? And then we have to, you know, regroup. That's why we're in this together. Me and Kimberly are in this together and we're a great team. So those are those moments where it's like, we reassure the other one. It's like, hey, remember, God's got us, it's good. We're in this, we're in this together and we're gonna be okay because I got you, you got me and God's carrying us both, all four of us, all four of us, he's got us, right? So it's gonna be good, right? And so we're just trying to figure things out and it's been such an amazing journey in it. And um, so I, I, as back to the book that I was writing, so I got this incredible book that I'm really, man, I'm, I'm it's one of the, the, of all the ideas I've had throughout my life and the years and I've always been a pretty creative person thanks to my mom, that's, that's definitely her influence um but throughout all my ideas this is definitely one of the ones i'm most proud about but amidst working on this half i'm halfway through it and then <coughs> me, me, and, me and kimberly are at the, and the boys are at the rec center in the they have this lazy river and the boys are we're all playing tag in this lazy river right it's got a current and it goes around and we're all just playing tag and just goofing around hiding behind rocks and whatnot. Um, so we're just goofing around and we're there, there. I don't know. I was just having so much fun. And I was just in a, in a, in a very pure moment of distraction. I wasn't thinking about work. I wasn't thinking about bills. I wasn't thinking about chores or tasks or anything that I needed to accomplish or do. And all of a sudden, this idea, this idea just popped in my head. And I just felt so driven that that was the thing that I needed to be working on. So that is literally, I took my book, that I'm so, I'm so proud of this book, and I put it aside. And I began writing this project. So I'm working on a new book. And this book is already now, within the last month or so, it's already further along than that one was. Um, and so there's part of me that wants to just like, give it lots of attention to make sure and perfect it. But you know what, at the end of the day, I don't think it's gonna be perfect. I think this is gonna be a special thing that I do that it's gonna come out the way it comes out because of the moment that I'm in. I think it's, it's I'm flying through it because I just got so much in my head that I'm just like trying to get out. So I'm just, just typing as fast as I possibly can. And I'm not the best typer. Um, I, I, I get the job done, but I'm not the best typer. But so I was like, I got all this in my head and I'm just trying to get it out and I'm trying to focus. But I got all these other things happening in life. I'm still gotta get my content done because I have with my manager, I have a, a daily post. Every day I post something, every day, every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. Every day. I, never, I never have a day where I don't post something. So because of all that, right? Because of everything that's going on, everything I gotta do and just getting through life and, um, Kimberly's work schedule, which is hectic sometimes, and the boys, Colton and Corey, are doing homeschool now that we've been on the road. This is their second year of homeschooling. And so our plates, and they're in an incredible Christian-based STEM academy. It's an accredited program that we have to mail in all their, their tests and quizzes and all that stuff and papers, and then they uh, submit their grades and they give us a report card right? But they have anywhere from eight to nine classes a day. Eight to nine classes a day. I mean, it's heavy. It's heavy. All right, so this keeps us running constantly. So I think my book is going to be a, an extension of all that. It's going to be an extension of the chaos in my life and the chaos in what we're doing right now. As much as when we first hit the road, there was, a, there was these moments of just relaxation almost. Like I would sit down in the hotel and I would start writing and be like, oh, it's time for lunch. Okay, well, let's get some lunch. And then I would just get back to writing, you know? And then I was just like, oh, well, um, it's, it's time for a moment to come home from work or whatever. It, it seemed like there was just these moments of relaxation and peace when we first got there that it was almost like we knew that it was temporary, but we were wrong. We thought we were gonna be back in Austin or back in Texas for the, at, the, at the very least within two months and before the boys' school started. So there was no pressure about school. There was no, you know, we just felt like we, you know, 
And um, once we started the boys in school, that program, it hit us that it was real, that it was really going to last longer. And although, and, and we had work to do, like serious work. So it wasn't just bonding as a family anymore. It was time to hustle and get these things off the ground. So there's definitely been a sense of urgency. And as far as lately, there's even more so. I just feel it inside me. So that's what the book I'm working on right now is. It's an extension of all that. It's that rush. It's that urgency. It's that need to get this information out. So, I don't know. We'll see how it all comes together. And I hope when it all comes together that everybody enjoys it as much as I enjoy putting it together. But, regardless, I gotta put this out for me. This is just an extension of the chaos. Yeah, that's what it is. All right. Um... So y'all stay tuned. I'll keep y'all updated. I'll keep you information. Be sure you like, subscribe, ding the bell, get your notification. Um, you don't want to miss out on updates on the book. You don't want to miss out on updates on other projects I'm working on. You don't want to miss out on the tips and opportunities that we discuss and talk and all build off of one another to attain true financial freedom. All right, it's your boy. I got nothing but love for all y'all. I appreciate everybody who's tuned in. I appreciate everybody who's still riding with me. And uh, yeah, let's let's uh, let's get cocky and let's see what uh, tomorrow brings. All right, it's your boy, and I'm out.